Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. A widely discussed question amongst Christians today is, should we celebrate Christmas? After all, it is a pagan holiday. I can't tell you how many emails and comments I'm seeing of people that are being told that uh, they're not truly saved if they celebrate Christmas. Um, people are just confused because they're being told they shouldn't be around their family members during Christmas. They have to just stay away from it. I wanted to do a video today discussing this uh, from a biblical standpoint. And actually, to do this, a couple years ago, I did an article over at Harbinger's Daily. So if you go to harbingersdaily.com, uh, you'll find my... If you actually just type my name, Chad Thomas, in the search bar, you'll find all my articles. Uh, a lot of good ones you can share with family members, friends, and, and all that good stuff. I had done one a couple years ago titled, Christmas Time and the Remnant Believer. I will put the link to the description uh, in the description box to this article. Please, if you know someone that's asking this question, that's a believer and saying, should I celebrate Christmas? Send this article to them. Uh, it's uh, all the Bible scriptures when you go to the article. You can click on them. They're um, attached to the article. But let me read some of this to you. A widely discussed question amongst Christians today is, should we celebrate Christmas? After all, it's a pagan holiday. We all heard the same. When you see Christmas lights go up, that means Thanksgiving is around the corner. Each year, it seems that the Christmas decorations and lights are getting, up, getting put up earlier and earlier. The sad part is, the majority of the world has no clue what the real meaning of this season is and what we truly should be celebrating. How can Christians use Christmas as an opportunity to be lights in the darkness. Most of the world celebrates December 25th by putting up Christmas trees and decorations and telling their kids that a fat guy in a red coat is going to visit them that night with his reindeer and give them presents. The sad thing is the word Christ is in Christmas. For the most part, the message of Jesus Christ is shunned during this holiday season, which begins way before December 25th. But people will get all excited about the mention of Santa Claus, his reindeer, his elves, and the North Pole. Most of the world knows that the theme behind Christmas is that it is Jesus' birthday. Now, do I believe Jesus was born on December 25th? Absolutely not. So then, why does the world think his birthday is on December 25th? Well, when you study the Feast of the Lord, or the appointed times, outlined in Leviticus chapter 23, you will notice that Satan is a copycat and loves to mock the Lord Jesus Christ, so he has his own special holidays that coincide with certain feasts of the Lord. For example, the Feast of Passover, or what we as Christians refer to as Resurrection Sunday, as Christians celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ during the Passover season, most of the world celebrates it with Easter baskets and chocolate bunnies. So these pagan practices and festivals known as holidays coincide with God's holy days, his appointed times. No coincidence there. But what should be our response as Christians? As the world partakes in these pagan holidays, are we supposed to lock ourselves in our homes and avoid everyone altogether? Or can we use what the world celebrates as an opportunity for us to share the gospel even more? During the Passover season, when we are with family during these times, as they partake in the celebration of a pagan festivity, this is a prime time for us to witness to them the most significant event in human history, the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and share with them the gospel of, uh, that saves. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Now let's get down to the big question. Should Christians celebrate Christmas? We should not celebrate Christmas the way the world celebrates it. God calls us to be separate and that we are to avoid evil and cling to that which is good. However, we can use this time to show the world what we do believe. As our family and friends hang up their decorations set up their trees, and put up Santa Claus with his elves all over the house, 
we should be using this time to put up things around our house celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, I do not believe Jesus Christ was born on December 25th. Nonetheless, this is an opportunity while we are around family and friends to give them a clear picture. Our celebrating is not about a pagan holiday waiting for a fat guy in a red coat to show up, but how God changed everything close to 2,000 years ago by becoming flesh in a virgin womb and was born in a manger. This time of year is the moment to share with them the prophecies foretold hundreds of years before Jesus' birth in Bethlehem. For example, hundreds of years before Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, the uh, prophet Isaiah records, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And then in Micah chapter 5, verse 1 to 2, we read, Now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He hath laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with the rod upon the cheek. But though, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from old, from everlasting. So this Christmas season, let us not avoid family and friends as they celebrate the wrong things, but let us be there to share with them the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ. Let us show our loved ones who we represent and, that we and what we celebrate is the true light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. I hope this has helped some of you out there that have been asking the question, should we celebrate Christmas? After all, it's a pagan holiday. Again, the answer is simple. We should not be celebrating Christmas the way the world celebrates it. But we need to show the world what we believe. How that this is not about a fat guy in a red coat with his reindeer and elves. But how God changed everything close to 2,000 years ago by becoming flesh in a virgin womb and was born in a manger. Let your light shine this Christmas season. Let's show the world what we do believe. And it's not about Santa. It's not about uh, celebrating uh, the pagan festivities the way the world does. But let us show them what we do believe. And it's all about the death, burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's proclaim that truth. I pray this video has helped some of you out there that have been asking this question that's being, that's being attacked by other people, saying you're not saved because you're celebrating Christmas and all this other hogwash. Send this article to anyone, or this video and article, which will be in the description box, to anyone you know that's asking this question, should we celebrate Christmas? God bless you guys. I pray this has helped some of you out there. Love you all.